In this short video, we are going to take a look on the substance integration into Rhino 7. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go to Tools, Package Manager and look for Substance. Here you are going to get the Substance Importer plugin, hit Install and press OK. Now I'm going on Substance Source, which is our uh, online material library and I'm going to look for some nice materials like this fabric and why not look for a buffalo leather with a lot of patterns and variations like this one perfect let's download it as SBSAR and go back to Rhino here in the material library I'm going to add a new material and in the bottom of the list, you can see Substance. This option allows you to import directly a Substance material into Rhino. Here, I'm going to drag and drop it. Change the UV repetition, add a little bit of UV rotation, and go back to this material and start to play with the presets. And I'm going to stick on this one and start to change the parameters. First, the main color for something green. I'm going to match the stitches with this new color, like so. Maybe change the pattern amount for something smaller. And why not the stitches length? like so a slight variation will be on the width like this and now i would like to add some perforation so here i just have to hit this button and i'm going to change the number for something bigger like so and now i'm going to push the displacement multiplier to six in order to see um, the bumpiness of this material and switch in 4K resolution before ray traced rendering. Now here I'm going to let the cycles renderer iterate and that's it. We can see the full potential of this substance material. Even in rendering mode, of course, you can change the substance material at any point, like the color but also all the different parameters. Now, I would like to show you another way to assign and import a material. So I'm going to switch back in uh, re rendered mode, go on the Windows browser, and here I can drag and drop my substance material, the SBSAR file, directly into the 3D view, and same thing, play with the presets and explore the full potential of a substance material. Here I'm going to play with the pattern variations in order to get something custom and start to change the color of some specific parts. All the gray parts, I would like something more flashy like this blue. I can also change the roughness and the metallicness of every single part, like so. Even the beads, if I want to change the color of this part or something greener. And same thing, I'm going to push the displacement, switch in 4K resolution before going to the ray traced renderer. So here I'm going to let it iterate. And voila, 